This is not a partisan issue. We are going to fund Iron Dome. Unfortunately, because to a person, our Republican colleagues would have refused and said they would not vote for that resolution. And because, yes, there were a very, very few who said they wouldn't vote for it on our side, because all of you would not vote for it, and we had just a handful who would not vote, we could not pass it. And I stood on this floor and said, we're going to bring an individual bill that I hope all of us will support. Now, obviously, all of us are not supporting it. There are some few who will not support this. But the overwhelming majority of this Congress, not in a partisan way, but in an American way, will support defending the democratic state of Israel created by the United Nations of the world to be an independent, sovereign, secure nation. And very frankly, in a bipartisan way, no nation on earth has been more important for the survival and security and sovereignty of that nation than the United States of America. Today continues that commitment. We bring this bill to the floor with the expectation that it will be overwhelmingly passed because we will put behind us partisanship. Support for Israel has traditionally and must always be a bipartisan issue. That's because we overwhelmingly recognize the fundamental right of the Jewish people to live independently in their ancestral homeland and to do so in peace and in security. Since its founding, Israel has been under constant threat of attack from those who would deny its right to exist as we continue to stand up for a two-state solution that achieves peace, security, and hope, and opportunity for both Israelis and Palestinians, we vigorously, strongly, unshakably stand for rights, for Israel's right to defend itself against terrorism. Make no mistake, Hamas and Hezbollah are terrorist organizations bent on murder and genocide and of eliminating Israel from that map of which Mr. Deutsch talked. Supported by Iran, one of the most prolific supporters of terrorism in the world, and avowing not only the destruction of Israel but also harm to America, in May, Hamas showed the world yet again why these terror organizations remain a threat to peace to the future of both Israelis and Palestinians. The rocket attacks it launched from Gaza, a territory it rules with a draconian iron fist, sought to kill innocent Israeli citizens indiscriminately. Mr. Speaker, much of the reason why so many innocent Israeli lives were saved was because of something we have done here in Congress since 2010 which is to fund and support and jointly develop the deployment of the defensive anti-rocket system called Iron Dome. Iron Dome has saved countless lives since 2010, including during the conflict in May, protecting schools, hospitals, synagogues, and family homes. During a period of 10 days in May, Hamas fired more than 4,400 rockets, 10 days. 4,400, over 400 rockets a day fired into Israel. Iron Dome extraordinarily ex intercepted 90% of those rockets. That number in just 10 days was a dramatic escalation over the number of rockets fired at Israel by Hamas and Hezbollah over the previous 10 years. Hezbollah, by the way, and we all, all recognize this, 
is estimated by published reports, I don't have the classified reports, to have 130,000 rockets aimed at Israel from southern Lebanon. The number of interceptors Israeli, uh, Israel's need to deal with these escalating attacks is going up dramatically as well. I talked to Mr. Lapid just two days ago, and he said to me, Congressman, I really don't know. We know how many rockets they have. We just don't know how many they will send at one time. So that we need to make sure that there is sufficient supply and the resupply after the rockets confronting the 4,400 rockets were used. Israel needed 2,400 interceptors for 10,000 rockets. The system needs to be replenished and strengthened. Why do we do that? Why do we ask the taxpayers of the United States of America to do that? We do it because we believe it's in their best interest. Yes, it's in Israel's interest. And yes, it's in the uh, interest of Israelis. But it is in the security interest of the United States of America. And that's why we proudly uh, stand up and support uh, this funding and other funding that we give to Israel so that it can remain the democracy that honors human rights. Does everybody honor human rights every day? America? We can look in the mirror. Every country can do that. But Israel, unlike any other country in the Middle East, has a Supreme Court that says to the government, you cannot do that. This is the right thing to do. And then Israelis do it. A nation of laws, a nation of morals, a nation uh, that's committed to the democratic process. Today, I believe that we will again evidence our broad and bipartisan commitment to Israeli security, Israel's security the safety of its people, and its right to self-defense. 